Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just talked to uh, Zax here about bounties after we ran into yet another one uh, while exploring the lower city apartments. Uh, so, there was that. And uh, we also have this over here going on whatever this is they're both named so they gotta be important can't you see i'm auditioning this is my shot at the big time i can't risk screwing it up by talking to you ah what's the use there's no way bib's going to hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dancing with a partner maybe i should just give up um what are you talking about? That Twi'lek over there is Bib Sorol. Uh, I'm assuming. The manager and talent scout, talent scout for the Starlight Entertainers are one of the biggest performing troops in this quadrant. When I heard he was stuck on Taurus, I figured it was my lucky break. If I can impress him, he might hire me on as a dancer, and I can finally get off the slime pit of a world. But I don't have a partner, and the Starlight Entertainers never perform solo. If you can't judge how I dance with someone else, I'm sunk. That's fair. Why don't you have a partner? My last partner left me. She was always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. Oh, boy. When I finally told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. My partner before that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing arms. I ditched him after less than a week. All right. I guess if you gotta get ahead in this business, you kind of need someone who's competent, but at the same time, did you really have to be that stuck up with the other one? Jeez. Okay. Um. Maybe I could be your partner. I admit I'm getting desperate. I hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? Um... What other choice do you have? You know what? I think I have a better chance going solo than I do with you stumbling around beside me. I'll pass. How hard can it be? You think this is easy? I've trained for years to develop my talents. Dancing isn't just wiggling your butt in the air, you know. Well, except for the Corellian cheek stuff. Okay, if you think you can just step up and start dancing at a professional level, you better think again. A Corellian what? The Corellian what? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> well, I've tried all the other persuade attempts. I'm good enough to get you through your audition. Okay. There. How am I failing all of these? Um, okay, well that worked. Well, you do have that certain look about you, a confidence of movement. I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. It took me like 12 times to get that through. Mr. Cerule, I've got a partner now. I'd like to, I'd really like to audition. Okay, Lynn, you got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to give your partner set up. Then, let's see what you got. Took me like 12 attempts to get that actually pass. I don't know why that took so long. Okay, I've got time to watch you for three more dances. Make them count. Okay, just follow my lead. Remember, the more complicated our steps and the closer we dance, the more it will impress them. Okay, complicated shit. Gotcha. But don't get in too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy oaf tripping me up. Try not to screw this up for me, okay? Okay. Um, join Lynn by dancing very close and face to face. Okay. Wow, very impressive. Good technique, good rhythm, good synchronization, nice tight space. Are you sure your partner's an amateur, Lynn? Ah, there you go. This will show you for making it. <laughs> take 12 attempts to fucking convince you, woman. Hey, quit trying to upstage me. This is my audition, not yours. Come on! Now listen, we made a good first impression, so you might want to take it down a notch for the next dance, just so you do and don't do anything stupid. Just follow my lead again. 
Do you have to be? Do you have to be rude about it? Uh, running around her in circles while she dances. <laughs> uh, no, we're not gonna do that. But uh, uh, let's do dancing close behind. Huh. Good, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice tempo. Looking good, Lynn. Okay, one more dance to go. To be fair, it, on camera it didn't look good. <laughs> so I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, one dance to go. Bip looks happy. As long as we don't screw up, I think we've got it. Follow me and please just keep it simple. Um... Okay, um, alright. <sighs> Keeping it simple, alright. Ruin Lynn's audition by taking a dive. <laughs> uh, that's the asshole method. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Uh, dancing very close and face to face. Let's just do that one more time, and we'll call it good. Looking good, looking very good. Feel the music, let it flow through you. Like the force. Well, what did you think? Do I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one for you if you want. Relax, Lynn, you've made it. You've got the job. Welcome to the Starlight Entertainers. I made it? I really made it? This is incredible. I, I, I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. You're in. Now we just need to get you fitted for your outfits. We need to start rehearsals. You've got contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy. That's the life of a star. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'd give you a big hit, a big hug. But, well, frankly, you're a little beneath me now. Like Bib said, I'm going to be a star. You... Bitch! <laughs> if you're ever traveling the galaxy and you see the Starlight Entertainers performing, stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. Wow! Little beneath you now. Woman, I just helped you get into the job of your dreams. The least you can do is pay me. But no. All right. Wow. That was fucked. All righty. So, um... Wandering around. Is that a Wookiee? Uh, this probably isn't good. I told you to leave me alone. Oh, Give she me speaks basic. Space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> <laughs> little girl should not be in bar. This is no place for little girl. If little girl smart, she'd run away home now. All right. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Little girl needs lesson in manners. Just a sec, boys. So My race was built to die. <laughs> I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Wow! Rude. We know what trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. That's racist. <laughs> Little girl lucky she has big friend. Uh, kinda, yeah. But, uh, then again, Rodians aren't known as being the toughest, uh, thing around. It's like nine times out of ten, if there's a, uh, <laughs> if there's a death that needs dying... It's usually Rodians in the Star Wars canon. Let's be honest here. Well, good for you guys. 
Uh, mission? I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. Yeah. Yes, that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Right. Huh. Um, hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I Fair. grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? name Why did you turn that way, Karth? And this big Wookiee is my best friend, Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Well, I mean... How do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. Uh -huh. easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we That's noticed. True. Still, you seem like an odd pair. Karth, why do you when keep turning my direction? Seem like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. That's fair. That's probably the best combo of uh, talents to go with. Uh, I want to ask you some more questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. Mm -hmm. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Do you? Uh, let me hear about Kalo. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people That's just a lot. to talk to him. He has yeah, I saw that too. Bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. Really? I figure Callow's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Probably. Probably. In fact, give me just a second. My uh, nose decided to act up, so I'm going to try and clear it up. Well, that's done. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. Uh -huh. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. Oh, so you're buddies. led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before hmm. he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Oh. Gadden considered that ungrateful space lug his adopted son. So are we talking Crips and Bloods sort of situation here, right? I have no idea what that's like. I'm just going to shut the fuck up because I have no idea. Um, why did Brezhik leave the Hidden Becks? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He oh, wait. so it's more of those uh, was dojo situations. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since... He's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. That's this gang right. war in the lower city is totally the Volker's fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. Yeah, it sounds about right. So, uh, let's talk about Davik. Well, Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. But I guess everyone knows that. Yeah. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know mm. much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it? Well, know? if Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the exchange. Hmm. That is an idea we'll have to use. Uh, we'll be going for right We're now. Going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z. Let's go. What are you talking about? But I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? <laughs> Come on. We'll go see Why if there's do you have to, to be so face. rude? He just <laughs> saved your ass. Mission. Wow. Okay. Well. All right. That's a thing. And a half. What the? Ja gotcha. <laughs> What do you want, human? You've come to stare like others here on Terrace? You think we are strange? Uh, wanted to ask you some questions. Questions? What kind of questions? That's originally why I came over here, but uh, now that I notice it, you're kind of conjoined with the other guy, aren't you? What kind of creature are you? In your one voice tongue, you would call us our kind Padwag. I want to, I want to assume power drag. Power Drag? I don't fucking. That is a hell of a name. 
<laughs> there are more vowels than there are consonants in that name. There is no way in hell. <laughs> I can pronounce that shit. Uh, I notice your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would hear at least. Oh, so that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, what planet are you from? You couldn't say it and don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four ears hear the true sound. But your kind would call our home Sorgis, a small world far off the Pro Prolemian trade route. Prolemian. I want to say it's Prolemi. Uh, also, way to be uh, smug, super snobby about your fucking... Oh, uh, you wouldn't understand it for real. But I'll give you what you people know it as. It's like, just give me the way people know it as. Because I, I know I'm not going to understand you and how you do things. Let's just stop with the snobbishness for a second, eh? Then again, probably has to deal with these sort of questions a lot. So, I, I, I guess it's kind of justified. Anyway, I'll be going now. Good, leave us alone. We just want quarantine to end so we can go back home. I assume it meant the quarantine, but... Anywho. Holden, I have to talk to you. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Okay, Mr. Womanizer. I don't go for these alien girls, but I've had some. Oh, racist womanizer! Oh boy. Know what I mean? Yippity do dilly. Okay, you're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out, just so long as the job gets done. Uh, how about let's not do that? What she did. That witch tried to cut me with a vibro blade. From the sound of it, she did. Um, I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't. I don't care about this. your reputation. There has to be payback. Although I don't care. I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. Oh boy, the womanizer's coming back. Okay. Tell you what, I'll take two hundred credits in exchange 200 for lifting the bounty. Two hundred credits. How about if you hire someone to kill Dia, it would look like you weren't mad enough to do it yourself. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's ah got to die. man. With a life or two hundred credits to buy my forgiveness. Really. Take that bounty off to his head or you're a dead, you're man. You're threatening me? I work for Davik Kang. Uh, if you kill me, you'll I had a be feeling that wasn't going to work death either. Warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. Uh, if I let her get a. Damn it, I tried. I wanted to try it just to see if it would work. Okay. 200 credits, now get that bounty removed. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Uh, light side points gained, even though I threatened his ass. Okay, well, that works, I guess. Uh, I thought that was a body there for about half a second. Yeesh. Oh boy, the Pazak people. Okay. Um, just double checking. Yeah, that's pretty much it here. There's nothing else really going on in this uh, in this area. So I guess we got to talk to the Hidden Bex, because the Black Volkers just attacked us on sight. So um, maybe we can talk to the Bex. Alrighty. Hey, you can't just walk in here. Oh, this is okay. the Hidden well. Beck base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Beck? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. I need his help. I was told to speak with him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between okay. the Sith conquest and the Volker gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. 
We're being careful about who we let in now. That's fair. Maybe a bribe could get me in. Maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gavin in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Alrighty, well then, I guess you just convinced your own self, didn't ya? You? You're gonna let me Go in? Go in and speak to Gavin if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Aren't they always? Okay. Alrighty, let's get it. And standard door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden becks standing around. Yeah, I absolutely would not be able to get through in a, you know, any sort of actual capacity. Huh. All right. right there. Who are you? Oh. And what is your business with Gadden? Calm uh, down, okay. Sandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're True. too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Valkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want okay. us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Okay, then. That's fair. That is more than fair. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. Hello! And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Okay. That's fair. I would assume you would still know. Uh... You have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If That's the fair. Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit and run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. That would work. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But True. so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Well, then that does make it a little more difficult to uh, get things going your way, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, hopefully Brezhik comes around after, uh, well, they actually attempt to come into the lower city. Or, you know, stay in force. Uh, I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed escape into the pods? city. You know, I heard the I Sith have been asking around enjoy. the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. What was that about? Calm down, Zerdra. <laughs> if the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I very much do. I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Yay! Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A really? female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Oh. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Great. I have to get in there and rescue Normally, him. the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Swoop race. Ah, uh, what does that have to do with anything? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. Ah, he's I offered see. her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. 
By putting up such Fair. a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only oh, we hope could. we have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Okay. That's an idea, I guess. Can you help me with this? Well, I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. Oh, we I have see. something to gain here. And much to lose. That's fair. Uh, what are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you will win your friend's freedom. But first, Sounds you like a good plan to me. For me. Okay. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But All the right. Vulcans stole the prototype. That's like cheating, but okay. They plan to use it to guarantee oh, a victory stolen. in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Okay. How am I supposed to get inside? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. Yeah. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission ah. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Well, I mean, missions are, uh, missions are gal then to get in. Uh, where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. Yeah, I saw that. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your oh. best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Uh, I got some Sith uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. Oh, yeah? You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, okay. my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Ooh. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. Uh huh. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. That's fair. What do you want with the uniform? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. That's fair. All right, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. True. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? That should be it. I'll be back when I get the prototype accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. That's true. We do want me to have some practice in, because, oh boy, oh boy, it could be bad if I don't. All right, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, because, uh, well, I don't have a lot of time, and I'm hoping that it's just enough for me to actually get this done. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And, uh, well, trying to get along in our quest to find Bastila. And finding out there's a lot more wrinkles in this whole quest as I thought there was. And uh, ran into Mission and Salbar who are the most unlikeliest pair in Taurus, really, for you.